Well, archery season is underway throughout Delmarva and hunters are heading into the woods for a shot at taking down some early season white tailed deer. Now, if they're fortunate enough to come across a mature buck, well, there's usually no doubt where that hunter's next stop is going to be. It's the moment white tailed deer hunters long for. A buck is spotted and is moving within range. The hunter has put in the time to scout for an ideal ambush location, pondered the weather forecast and wind direction, managed scent control as best as possible. Now the moment is here. Adrenaline and excitement threaten to overtake the hunter. How is it possible the deer cannot hear the pounding of the hunter's heart? The tiniest mistake, or seemingly nothing at all, can send a mature buck running for cover. One thing is certain, the hunter will remember everything about this moment, whether it's a successful harvest or not. But when the harvest is successful, that hunter is going to be paying a visit to his or her favorite taxidermist. Basically, honoring that deer that you spent so, so much time going after and harvesting, um, that's the number one reason people want to get deer mounted. Joe and Brian Wright are the award-winning brothers behind Wright Brothers Butchery and Taxidermy. They do this full-time and learn the skill from a two-time world champion taxidermist. It's just the white-tailed deer uh, that I've had a passion for ever since I was probably 14 years old, started bow hunting and uh, always wanted to do taxidermy. What we're looking at here is a mannequin of the deer created by taking meticulous measurements of the animal. It will later be covered with the actual hide of the deer, but this process is key to creating the details that make the mount look as real as possible. You owe the animal the justice to mount it as good as you can, get it close to uh, a life-looking animal as you can to, uh, to honor that animal. I put everything I can into a, a mount just like it was my own. And after more than a decade of doing it, the Wright brothers have got it down. Everything's got to be in its exact place, so your measurements have got to be perfect to get everything in the right place. It's got to, kind of loose fitting, if you will, the skin to the mannequin. Um, but the mannequin's got to be all sanded down, all the detail put into it. That's where your, your detail comes from, is putting it actually into the mannequin so you have a roadmap, if you will, of where to put the skin back. It's quite a long process to get the hide ready, but once the glue is on the mannequin, the brothers are ready to put it on. And this is when the mount starts to come to life. Mount done? Well done, call your customer, come pick it up. But it's not quite ready just yet. Brian handles most of the, uh, the fleshing part of the, the face and the, and the eyes and down to the lips. I do uh, mostly on the fleshing machine, getting the whole uh, hide. Uh, fleshed and you want to take that down as thin as you can get it which leaves you a thin cape and you're able to put you know all the detail into it that that you desire but yeah he does most of the face I do the uh, fleshing on the, the body and most of the inverting the uh, he does most of the caping we, we do back and forth you know everything's uh, for the most part but um, and then comes to the end he'll sew up the, the whole back of the head and then I'll work on the eyes and the nose and the mouth and things like that. Now this one here is still not quite done. For lack of a better term, it needs the makeup applied. More detail work in the eyes, nose, and some paint will be added soon. We love it. You know, we don't want somebody to uh, put the time into killing an animal and then have all that time tied up into it and get the mount back and be upset. It's, it's really uh, gratifying to have somebody come in and be happy when they pick up their mount. That's the goal. Once the hunter lays eyes on the animal for the second time, they're able to relive the hunt all over again. Those memories and details are as vivid as the day of harvest. And that is what makes it all worthwhile for Joe and Brian Wright. Well, you can't put a price on that. It's um, every day you get to wake up and go hang out with your brother at work and mess around and, and just do what you love to do is, uh, it's a way of life that money just can't buy.